Hello, my strong, strong friends. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna take you through a full bench warm up. Again, like the squat warm up. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link it down below or put it like right here or something. If you haven't seen that one, be sure to check it out, especially if you need ideas for a squat warm up. But the bench warm up, we're going to again focus on mobilizing the joints that are involved, mainly the shoulder and the spine for a little bit of scapula retraction, a little bit of an arch. If you are a person, a power lifter that has an arch, but mainly I want my lifters to focus on that scapula retraction so that they're retracting the shoulder blades, activating the lats and setting themselves up so that they're safe in the bench press. So in this warm up, you'll see us do a lot of scapula retraction movements and warm ups so that our shoulders are ready to go and so that the lifter can get used to retracting if that's something that's new to them. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below or give this video a like if you enjoy any part of it or find something useful that does help out the channel a lot. Okay. Enjoy the warm up. Okay, ready to bench? Okay, first we're gonna warm up for the bench. Some of you I've talked to today and have said your bench warm up is non existent. Well, today we're gonna fix it, change it, and give you some ideas on how you can better prepare yourself for especially a big bench. Because if you're anything like me, and I know a lot of you are, your threshold between like 150 and 155 is very fine. 150 will move and 155 will just not. <laughs> so what we wanna do is when we're thinking about those tough sessions where we're hitting a heavy one rep max, we wanna think about best preparing ourselves so that we're explosive, especially whenever we need it, and explosive so that our warm ups are easier, so that the bar feels light in our hands, and so that we're using our entire body for the bench press, not just like slowly pushing ourselves away from the bar. Everyone grab a PVC pipe. You get a PVC pipe. <laughs> yeah, everyone grab a PVC pipe. Everyone gets a PVC pipe. Try not to knock each other out or poke your eyes out with them. Okay, we've all done these before, so do some pass-throughs. If you're all the way out here to make it easier, it's fine. If you're super mobile, if your shoulders feel good, you can come in more narrow. To make it easier, go wider. To make it harder, go more narrow. Whenever you're done with those, do the reverse. So put the pole on your butt and palms are, are facing your body and then the opposite side. Yeah. Again, go wider if you need to. It'll feel good on your wrists, warm your wrists up, warm your shoulders up. And then next one, we're gonna go around the world. Open up your side body. Oh, that feels good. Move your back a bit, your spine. Warm your spine up for your arch. And then you can do the reverse. Oh yeah. Okay, that's it for the PVC pipe. Go ahead and put them back. When you're done, we're gonna get into a push-up position and we're gonna do scap push-ups. When I'm bench pressing, I crawl my shoulders back and then I retract my scapula. My shoulders are back, my scapula is retracted. You see this movement? We're gonna do that, but pushing against the floor. Shoulder blades go back and down and then up. So your scap push-up looks like this. You're not doing a full push-up, it's just shoulder movement. So it's like you're kissing the shoulder blades together, almost like you're about to get in that bench position and then pushing them back out. Try to keep your elbows straight. Take a break if you need it, or you can do them on your knees, just like assisted push-ups. What she's doing there is she's pulling her shoulder blades back and they're going down and retracting her shoulder blades. That's the exact same thing that you wanna be doing on the bench press. If you ever have a hard time waking that up, or if you've never felt that sensation, that's exactly what it should be like. Also, it'll just help with your shoulder health as you start like continue to lift more, your shoulders are starting to hurt, try those, yeah. Stay on the ground and we're gonna do some push-ups. Give me five push-ups that aren't just like lazy push-ups. I want you to explode and push the floor away from your body. So same thing, like you're pushing your body up in the push-up. It's the same, same kind of thing with the bench press. My scapula is retracting, I'm pushing it away. So think about that. Think about like you have the world beneath you and you're like pushing your body away from it. Warm up with push-ups in your bench press if you need to. And you could take it a step further and do explosive push-ups or you're trying to get some air on your hands. Next, I want you to do some scapula pull-ups and I'll show you that same thing. Jump up up here or here. Mind your side body. 
Don't kill yourself. What she's gonna do is again, pull her shoulder blades down. Now she's got her body weight is resisting her. So she's gonna pull her shoulder blades down. Same kind of thing. She won't have as much retraction back, but same kind of thing. She's like pulling her back knee down and she's like pinching my finger almost. So think about doing that. We're just warming your shoulders up, warming your scapula. Up. Okay, we've got just three more warm ups. So the first one is band pull aparts. Again, we're crawling our shoulder blades back in that retracted position and then we're going to pull apart the band. So you can do that way and also you can hold your hands the other way and do the same thing. Kind of turning on your rear delts, turning on your back muscles, getting them warm up. Give your band to a buddy and then work on that explosive push up. So push yourself away. If you can get some hang time, that's great. If not, do an assisted version. Push the floor away from yourself. Push the floor away from your body. Get some hang time and then come back. Do eight reps there on the band both ways and then come do your explosive push-ups, and then let's cycle those two sets of those. What you wanna think about here too, is no matter how you're doing the push-up, the goal is to load the tension. So you're like loading, 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 explode. The same as your bench press is on, you're loading it, loading it, loading it, maintaining the tension, get your pause, get your cue, and then pushing it away from you. You know, same deal. Just there's a barbell on your hands and like 80 million pounds and your face is at risk. You're gonna die if you don't do it. That's a just small risk. So with our bench press, we're using our chesticles. We're using our shoulders. We're also gonna use our lats slightly. They're not gonna be completely recruited, but I want them to be turned on and pumped so that you're ready to bench. Regardless of if you have a pull up or not, we're going to jump up and then slowly come down. Just, just a few seconds. Do a couple of reps, maybe five reps. Jump up, slowly come down. So if you can do a million pull-ups, I don't care. I want you to just turn on your lats. If you can do no pull-ups, you can use a band for assistance, but all you're doing is just jumping up and holding it where it's hardest, right here, right? Like the initial pull is the hardest. So hold it for just like three seconds. Turning on your lats, and then we're ready to bench. And then you're warmed up. Thank you guys so much for watching this bench warm up. I hope that you found something useful or helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a like so that I know. I have a, another deadlift warm up if you wanna see a specific lift warm up like this. And be sure to check out the squat one if you haven't already. All right, that's all for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.